Okay, so this is again a 10 inch square cake. I'm putting on an 18 inch round board. You can certainly put it on a square bird, board, bird, a square bird, a square board if you prefer. I'm just gonna take the uh, glue gun here and put some hot glue down here. I usually use double sided tape, but I didn't bring it with me today. So th see, there are other options. Um, I could even put a squirt of buttercream down there if I needed to, um, but I like it to actually stay where it's supposed to be. So I'll just kind of pop this and about make sure it's kind of centered there. Put the spatula under there and then um, lift it out. Might need this for something later. Just pop that over there. And then we're going to go ahead and work on uh, some of the infield here. Uh, okay, so I've got my picture of the real one here. So the green part in the center, that's more of a square. Okay, so we're going to have to square, like imagine your squares here. But then the outfield part, so actually the square would be just like here. And then if I want to do more of the outfield, it's more of a rounded shape. So I figure if I use a cardboard cake circle as a stencil to kind of um, place it, I can place it on some fondant um, to kind of get an idea of where I need it to be. So this is just some um, fondant here that I've colored like a light terracotta. Uh, it might not be exact of what um, that is. I might actually need a little bit more this actually does look a little dark. You know what I think I'll do is add a little bit more white to this. So I've got my white right here. I'm going to roll this out first, place it on the cake, and then I'll put some of the green fondant over it. Um, so let me kind of mix that just about like that. And uh, we'll just knead this together. So how I got this uh, terracotta color, though, is I used some red uh, food color, and then I put a little bit of brown in there. You can also use like um, maybe a Maricolor maroon or something. Um, so that's a little lighter. Not the exact color, but you'll get the, the point there. Okay. They all are slightly different anyway, like on pictures and things of that sort. Okay, so I need some cornstarch here or powdered sugar, but I have cornstarch. And I'm going to just dust my surface, take a rolling pin, and start to roll this out. This actually has some little specks in it, and that's because I actually used, instead of brown food color, I used chocolate fondant and mixed it in with my uh, red fondant to get that color. So instead of using the red and brown food color, I used red and brown and chocolate fondant. Okay, so it almost needs to be like 10 inches, and then we can kind of cut it down from there. Oops. So we're about 10 by 10. Um, let's see, so what I'll do is I'll start with this and I want to cut my curve. Now let me look at this one more time. Because what I have to do is actually come out further this way. Okay, so let me do this. I'm going to cut my straight parts first. So let's do, we don't want it to be, how about like eight by eight square? So we'll do eight, and then we need eight this way. Was that a whole eight? It's about there. Okay, eight this way. Okay, then we can use this, kind of place it up here, and we need to go all the way to here. So I'm following this part of the curve, but not all the way over here. I actually need to go all the way from here over to there. 